Welcome to Icarus. My name is Nilaus and I am returning to this game after one and a half years of break. And during that one and a half years, there's been the new releases and updates every two weeks. So I'm excited to see what has changed. Uh, I rage quit the game last time because I love the game, but I did not like some of the implementation. A lot of the things I didn't like has been fixed, which is absolutely amazing. So we're giving it another chance. I'm going to be playing this over on Twitch and here on YouTube simultaneously. So I'll be live streaming three times a week. Check out the schedule on Discord on Twitch for when the next... Uh, next one is up tonight is the night and also of course um here i'll be making these kind of episodes to sort of bridge the gap between uh, between each of the uh, of the live streams so if you want to follow uh, be sure to hit the like button that's how i judge whether this is a thing that you are interested in i hope this could be a long and, and arduous series so uh hit the like button subscribe to the channel to keep up to date and of course if you want to support the channel a bit further then i do have a patron and i very much appreciate the people who are supporting there this is how i stay independent and stay focused on the games that i enjoy and hopefully you also enjoy let's dive into the game and see what it has to offer in this very first episode so let's get started on a new game of icarus starting it up so as we get started, we have different options. We new, load, join, we go into the new, and then we have the different missions, the different types. The missions is the original one where we do time-limited missions, and you can get all the exotics and rent these kind of currencies and go back to the orbital station and buy stuff. Or we have the open world mode, which is new, and that's the one we're going to be trying out. So this is persistent, but there are no exotics or anything like that, no purchasing, which is kind of annoying, but, you know, well, I guess they want us to to play the missions part. And we might do that at a bit later stage. So we have the original map, the Olympus map, or the new map, Styx map. We'll of course try the new one. And uh, we are going to create a new world. Uh, it's gonna be on medium difficulty, which is just here. We're gonna call this, um, there we go, meaningful name. And we're going to claim this prospect. So here, this is if you've done some missions uh, before, then you can sort of load up on cool uh, cool items that you bring in. But unfortunately, we have nothing. So what we can do is just confirm loadout and hit in. Then we can choose the drop-off point. There are a different, few different points of uh, drop-off. Uh, this is honestly the only viable one, as far as I can say. Yeah, all the other ones are in really difficult terrain. And this one doesn't have any rivers. And you really need rivers for making... Um, making power much later on so we run to stay here and we have a large area of uh, exp for exploration so let's drop here oh my god what a uh, satisfactory ripoff right ah it's a shuttle we are inside the shuttle damn ripoff satisfactory nah it's all good it's all good right so as we come in come on to make landfall and we are going to just have basically nothing there nothing at all we have no inventory no nothing we have a lot of things that we need to get immediately, so that will be our first objective. We'll just get the very few first things, but our objective that we are working towards... Oh wow, that's a crazy location. I'm just dropping right in the middle here. Now, we do have a map. Uh, I think I want to settle maybe over here. I want to make sure that I am on the southern side of the map. Am I? No, I am in a location that's kind of constrained by rivers. I don't know if that's good or bad. I don't know. I don't know if that's good or bad. I think I rather want to be on the other side of the map or of this part. Just go over here. I think that feels safer. Yes. Good. So we have, as we get started, we have a number of different things we need to uh, work on. First of all, we need oxygen that comes from oxalite. Um, this is the rawest form of oxalite that we can uh, we can put in. We can put it in here. Uh, we have stone and sticks. And we also have, what is this? This gets us some um, cocoa seeds. Weird. Uh, but here we have some wild berries. We'll just consume that and get a consumption buff here. Uh, one space and stomach. You can have three thing, three things to eat at the same time. Is stamina, maximum stamina, and minus water consumption. Great. Uh, we'll get some. Oh, we want to kill those. Uh, we don't have anything to chop chop, so we have to make do with. Well, we need to get some stone and some leaves. Actually, more sticks. So let's find some bit, little bit more forest as we just go around. Getting the very first things. Here are some sticks. That's what we're going to need. And uh, there can be wolves. And if we find a wolf now, we're just dead. <laughs> it's very simple. Uh, don't need to take all that stuff. Uh, we need a lot of stone. And we need a lot of sticks. Just to get going. Okay. I think we have enough to just get us the very first crafting things. Go over to the crafting menu. So what we want is we want a pickaxe for mining stone. And we want a stone axe for 
chopping stone. That's all we can do at this point. So that is uh, the very first thing. And we can now start chopping trees. Trees are what we want the most of. So let's uh, chop, chop. Oh, watermelon. Nice. Let's consume that. That did give us... That gave us nothing. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, are you kidding me? Ah, can they swim? Can you swim? Please don't swim. Uh, yeah, this is kind of how the, this game works. It's... It's messed up. But you can also just... Bam, kill them. There we go. Okay, let's get that out of the way. That uh, the good news about that was how much uh, uh, how much XP that got us. Okay, we can't really uh, get a skinning knife, or we can get a skinning knife now that we got a level one. We'll get level from killing, farming, ma harvesting, crafting, or everything gives XP, which is super amazing idea. So we have two generally things. We have some tech tree where we get blueprints for things to craft. And we have talents. Let's go through the tech tree first. What are the things that we want? You can see here, a lot of things are gated by level 5. So our objective will be getting to level 5 as fast as possible. And also getting a bedroll, which is uh, 20 fur. So that's another thing. We want a skinning knife so we can skin the creature. We want to get a campfire and a bedroll. And then we don't have any more. So we can now skin, have a skinning knife. Let's uh, make the skinning knife so we can skin the, the jaguar that came at us. <clears throat> that was a little bit intense. And where is it? That is three. And then we can do the skinning. Please have some fur for us because we want 20 furs for the bedroll. We got eight from that. Great. And then we just stab this one to get some more uh, bones because bones will be super handy. Right. That was a pretty good start. And the other thing we can do is a campfire and a bedroll. Bedroll is what we want towards. So our objective now is get to level five and get... Um, and as we get to level five... We we want to get a bedroll before that. So what we need to do is get a little bit more. We chop some trees. And that would be like a meticulous thing that we want to just chop an awful lot of trees. And let's see when you get it. Unlike Valheim, you actually get a lot from the stumps. You can see how, how much we got here. 45 from the stump. And then we just continue chopping this tree. There, every time we do that, every chop you can see up in the top left, you, when we get that completed, and there, 100 XP for that, which is pretty nice. And, and also sticks, we need sticks, 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 and here, lots of sticks. What do we need the sticks for? I can't remember. Uh, and we do inventory, get more oxalite for eating. This is our main part, let's keep that on the, the dashboard. What we want to do is, we want to get one more level so we can get... Uh, get some more talent points, or more, more, some more blueprint points, and those will be give us uh, a bow, which is the next objective. And we got a level up, that's brilliant. So that we are now level 2, we get one talent point, one sword point, and three uh, blueprint points. That is uh, pretty good, that's what we're going to be focusing on right now. Let's look at the blueprint points first, P. Blueprint points. So we got the first things. We now need a wooden bow and a stone arrow. Um, we also have a few other things. I think I'd like to have a torch as well. And that's all of the blueprint points we have at this point. Then we go over to talents. This looks like a wild talent tree. There are three different tabs here. These work in solo, ca solo game and, uh, uh, and multiplayer. I will not be playing any multiplayer. That's not my intention. Uh, there are a lot of things, so there's the survival, the habitation, and combat skills. Uh, habitation, what is that? That's didn't count. <laughs> Resource cost and crafted access, that seems incredibly stupid. Stamina regeneration, that might be something, right? And recently repaired building pieces are resistant to storm damage. That seems useless as well. Like, there's something I want, and that's down here. Uh, chopped wood is also added to inventory, nice, and... A peerless uh, lumberjack chance to instantly pop a tree one percent chance that's really nice and lucky strike this one so those are the ones we want to work towards and that means we'll be investing all our points into chopping trees and uh, chopping stone because that's going to be something we need a lot of in order to get faster and if we just one percent seems like not a lot but each stone deposit is a ton of things now here's the solo tree this is an extra talent tree that only works when you're solo i think that's really nice that they uh, they added something like this and that will be more handy for someone like me 
more experience gained. That's not really relevant, I think, uh, because by the time we get to this, we were probably already maxed at level 50. But I want to do stamina because stamina is always good. Maximum stamina is nice. And we now have an uh, opportunity to make a bow, right? Yep, let's make a bow and let's get some arrows as well. Maximum number of arrows, that's not a lot. What is holding us up? That is the, um, the thatch. Okay, and let's see. We are going to get our bow in position one, our knife in position two, because that's kind of the most important ones. And we can just uh, chop a little bit more and then go out and hunt a bit with our bow once we uh, chop at least this tree done. Right, so we ended up over in combat here, and uh, that means uh, we need to build something. Uh, I can build a wood pile. We'll build that. And let's see where they come in. Oh, we have a storm warning. Uh, do we have these things? Where are they? There they go. Five. Build that. And five on top. Build that. And get another one done. Okay, so we have a little bit of a... Oh, it's just showers. That's not so bad. Here, it, it doesn't look safe. And this is basically just to get rid of some of our stuff. If you just drop things on the ground, they will disappear quite rapidly, which I think is a performance issue or a performance thing that they uh, sort of claim that or that they uh, delete things on the ground pretty rapidly. This is what we need. We need more of the stats here. More shrubberies. Drop, 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 drop. There we go. And our food is also not so great. Let's keep this. So you can see it's already degrading. Consume that. Soybeans, can we consume that? Sure. I don't know. So, yeah. so I mean, it's just count as raw food. Don't know why that is a little bit different. And over here, that's oxalite. We always need more oxalite. So, but not always. But at this point, we do very much need oxalite. And so we'll chop this one. And you can see we get 60 or 90 for each chop. But the last chop, the one that breaks the whole thing, it gets a little bit more, I think. So it's usually generally worth it when you have these small deposits. So make sure you get the whole thing. Yeah, 120. Great. All right, let's see, go back to crafting, get more arrows. Uh, how many can we do? Yeah, 60 arrows, that's a little bit much, but let's get at least 30. We're gonna need a lot, because uh, I can't hit a damn thing. So although we are exposed in the storm, I just don't really care. Um, it's The storm is gonna pass shortly, so the, the storm exposure we get right now isn't really gonna matter very much. So we'll just uh, make do with what we have and survive the storm with the exposure here, there you go. And uh, let's just proceed here. You can see we have exposure. And what does it do? It gives us uh, less movement speed, less experience gain. I mean, that sucks, but it also sucks more that to just sit around and not do anything. Uh, so we're just stuck with the exposure thing right now. We could try to hit one of these. That works surprisingly well. And it won't have any pelts and fur, of course, but it'll have something. It'll have our arrow back, so uh, it also gives a little bit of XP. So we do all everything we do here is all for the XP, and we'll then go back here and uh, put all of our things back into some piles that we can then use uh, later on for building our first house when we get to level five. Let's craft a campfire. We do need a little bit of a campfire here. Uh, we can't really place it inside anything. We'll keep this as our sort of safe-ish corner and deploy it here. And then we press to eject. We get some in here. And then let's burn the uh, the meat and the stringy meat because well, that will get us to, yeah, something useful. Uh, what, oh, 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 I see something there. What is that? something oh it's a rabbit damn it i want the rabbit that's a komodo they're pretty dangerous at this point so i shouldn't be and they don't have pelts but they have xp they're full of bundles of xp so we want those as well uh, but we do need more food yeah that's a cooked stringy meat let's eat that that'll get us uh, some extra buff there all right, and now we need to sort of continue to go out. Here's a little trick that you can do, uh, because this one actually uh, has a storage. So if you have stuff in the beginning that you just pick up that you don't really want to carry around, uh, stuff that doesn't get old, like not food, for example, then just put it in here and it'll be fine. So here we have a Komodo. They are a little bit dangerous. We don't need to kill them, but I want to kill it because it uh, has XP. Whoops. And 
might regret this. Please be dead. Ah! Panic! You can't swim. Komodos can't swim, can they? There you go, that was easy. <clears throat> Uh, what do we get? We got 600 XP for it, so that's worth it, but a little bit dangerous. Oh, and we got our knife broke. Knives, uh, things break easily, but they also repair super easily. Just takes a little bit of stamina and a single stone in the beginning. Right, so I just did that because they will be attracted to corpses, so if we leave a corpse lying around, then that's gonna be a problem. What is that? I don't know what that is. Let's see what it is. That's another Komodo. Oh, that's a level million Komodo. Let's hope you can't get up here. A little bit dangerous. A little bit dangerous. Generally, things don't behave well in water so if you can jump into the water and cross water then uh, even bears don't swim very well yeah and we do this primarily for the xp also for some yeah just exclusively for the xp oh damn knife breaks here all the time we need a better knife there we go you get for both skinning and for killing, so they will continue our on our hunt. Primarily looking for anything with pelts, but uh, hey, we'll take anything that uh, that is full of XP. We have our first wolf. Are you kidding me? Is that a is that a bear or is it a jaguar? Woo, we got a level. I don't know what that is. That's definitely something that needs killing. Ow. Ow! Run in! Jump in the water! Jump out of the water. Can you climb? Yeah, a lot of, lot of this is a little bit in the beginning just abusing their AI as, as much as we can. But hey, we get pelts. Wait, and we got our level 3. We get 5 more pelts. Alright, this is excellent. And we repair the knife here. Yeah. We repair the bow. Thank you. And then we go find the wolf, because the wolf will attract uh, Komodos, and we do not want the Komodos to eat our wolf. That is our wolf. There are many like it, but this one is ours. Well, that was excellent. We now are to 13 pelts, and we are now 17 pelts. Great. So our objective is level 5. We are at, if you took a look top right-hand corner, you can see that it is half past 2 in the afternoon. About 5 o'clock, things become... Uh, a little bit gloomy so uh, that is when we need to start worrying about whether we have enough uh, enough uh, yeah whether it's uh, soon starting nighttime and we need to find some rest because we can't move that far when when it's pitch black and it will be pitch black during the night here so we'll continue our our hunt for uh, three more pelts maybe a little deer maybe a not a komodo but you know i actually want to get those komodos because they're full of their bundles of xp I don't know what's front of center of that. Oops, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm very stuck. Do I not have any? Oh, I don't have any arrows. Okay. Let's uh, go here. And let's go to the crafting menu. That's O for open the damn crafting menu fast. Run. We can, luckily, we can craft while running. Uh, let's see, where are you? 
There we go. Easy. Little bit intense, maybe a little bit risky, but hey, uh, we gotta get that XP to uh, to to get anywhere. Ah, uh, it's broken again. I don't have stone. How do I not have stone? Yeah. Repair. Good. We're getting a lot of uh, good pelts and stuff. We're not getting as much XP as we'd like. Not as much pelts as we like, but uh, we're getting a lot of like animal parts, which is lovely. So continue the farming. Okay, I think we want to go out and try hunting some deer. And, ow, I broke my leg. Are you kidding me? I'm an idiot. Ow. 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 Alright, well that was mildly stupid. Uh, we're low health, so... Okay, well, so much for that <laughs> glorious hunt. You can also see here, we have this Komodo bite, which means that minus 80% food effect duration and plus 100% poison affliction duration that's pretty damn miserable and i don't even know what it is but it's a very long time duration so uh, these uh, debuffs also last through uh, death so that's really miserable low health i think we're okay right come on little rabbit what does this do uh, sprain minus and carrying capacity okay we Okay, it's a little bit uh, tricky. I want to get more food. Can I just consume the stack of this? Does that help us at all? Not really. Uh, we'll we'll regenerate food, uh, regenerate health gradually, but we do have to remember that we're running around low food. So probably we want to go for XP from uh, not mine, not. Uh, <sighs> yeah, not fighting too much. Let's just say that. Here's another watermelon. I'll take that as well. That should be getting us a nice buff as well. Um, I want to get something that we can shoot. A level 17 rabbit. Yeah, not it. making it. But hunting that rabbit is going to kill me some other way. I know that. Oh my god. I fell off a cliff and died. Oh, that's so embarrassing. At least I can cut this out so no one will see that I died from jumping off a cliff. Oh, I forgot I had low hit points. All right, well, now we get to see how uh, respawning works. Basically, the way it happens is that you sort of get dropped down on uh, on the planet again. Uh, if you have multiple players, they can come here and revive you because you're unconscious. Alternatively, we can just get um, dropped at a random location, which is kind of nearby. And as you can see here, the debuff is still uh, sticking with us, that Komodo bite, which is absolutely atrocious. I don't even know what it is. It says 1 and then 288. I don't even know. Is that 1,288 seconds? Because that's kind of a lot. Um, and you can also look at the top left-hand corner. You can see all the progress we made towards level 4 is gone now. And we ended up way further up, so we need to move. Uh, yeah, this direction. This is atrocious. We have nothing in inventory, nothing there. Everything is at our corpse, and uh, the debuffs last through death, which is not cool, in my opinion. <laughs> not cool, and a weird, weird choice that they decided uh, on that. Um, so that's uh, that's just the way it is. Uh, we have to endure, and uh, that should hopefully teach us not to be so stupid in the next time, and maybe pay a little bit more attention to our hit points before we jump out uh, of cliffs so we'll recover our corpse should not be a big deal uh, we have all this i can actually go in and get my third food buff here that one and you can see that it is getting very much night time and uh, as the night falls it's hunting becomes nigh impossible because you can't see a damn thing you can see how quickly it gets dark here uh, we need to find <clears throat> the corpse with all the dangerous animals that uh, caused our death previously and let's go in here take all thank you and then we go in here for inventory and that gets in here that's okay uh, let's consume a little bit yeah you can see now we can't really see anything anymore what we have to do is we need to craft a torch this is one of the things that got a lot better since uh, previously because you can put the torch in a light slot and then turn it on like this and you can actually see stuff and then still mine so that is pretty good we are going to be uh, oh uh, consume that there okay that's actually nice that uh, we have a lot of oxalite so what we need to do now is we'd have to stop hunting we will just go back to our 
poor area up here and then just chop trees and during the night because there's I, there's nothing you can't see a damn thing in here so uh, no point no, no point in, uh, in continuing to do this yeah we're pretty fucked now <laughs> if you look at this uh, also I think I've lost all of my resources haven't I uh, let's, let's drop some stuff here let's drop this on the ground so we're no longer overburdened oh we're really overburdened here yeah, uh, drop that Okay, get that sorted. Oh, that's not really happening. Yeah, let's jump. Oh, shit. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Yay, we got the level up to level four. Although that's a lot of ground we've been covering. That actually would have gotten us to level five if we hadn't been, like, stupid and died. And we also have morning, so that's very nice as well. You can see we get 300 XP for just chopping down the tree, which is pretty good, actually. Just chop down the trees. The trees are the enemies. If you are ever in doubt, then uh, check this channel. The trees are the enemies. And... Uh, like this is a bit wasteful because I think they sort of despawn when they when they fall down, but uh, eh, they actually dealt damage to other stuff as well. That's nice. Yeah, so we are gonna go for continue working our way. Let's uh, have a look. I did get some bandages. Bandages uh, have a little unique uh, capability, and that's the fact that they're pretty damn easy to make, and you get 60 XP for each or 80 XP for each. So if you uh, have some of these uh, ferns here just a lot of that you can just go around just picking this up and for each 40 of these you can get 80 xp so Typical. I just found a bear. I found a bear. I, the bounce bear found me. Why? Oh, why is it always when I'm like one hit point away from next level? Oh. That's not broken. Finally got a good shot in on one of these bigger ones and get a little bit of XP for it. Uh, we'll be better at shooting once we have better arrows, which is again like level 5 if we ever get there. Oh, this one did not have any, any pelts at all. Oh dear, this is just taking a little bit of forever, but uh, I'll get it, I'll get it. Uh, no, you don't worry, we'll uh, get it, we'll just mine some stuff. Uh, Oxlide mining is pretty easy as well. You get 30 per chop, that's okay. Um, and you get a little bit more for the last chop as well. So we're just grinding away towards level 5. There we go, 120 for the last hit. There's a wolf. There's a dead wolf. And there's a Komodo next to it. Let's try and see if we can get the Komodo as well. Oh wow, that was good. Two kills. That helps a lot on uh, um, on this. Let's see how much we get for the skinning part. That should also be a little bit. Uh, 500 for skinning. Nice. Nothing for for chopping here. And uh, ah, we need a stone. We need a stone. We need a stone. There's a stone for the repairs. Yeah. Chop. And wolf is gone now. Where is the wolf? Right, somewhere, somewhere there's a somewhere there's a wolf. Where the hell are you? Yeah. This is no 
trace of it. That, that's not a wolf. Oh, there's the wolf. Oh, shit! That's not the wolf pelt. The pelt is alive. Okay, so uh, I guess I found the wolf, but it was not the wolf. It was another one. Another Komodo coming. That's a broken. Are you... Are you kidding me? You're gonna kill me now. You're gonna kill me with this little XP left. I, it's gonna happen again. I know it. I know it. Come on, get the stamina. I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die with this little... This little remaining thing. We're gonna just chop anything. We're gonna do anything we can to, to get that stupid level five. Uh, what is that? Is that a is that a thing? That, that's the thing. I can't even do that because I, I don't have any hit points. Oh no! Consume stack. Consume stack. Consume stack doesn't do anything. I just need to chop like something, tree, anything, pick up stuff. All right, we want to get that level urgently before anything bad happens, and we oh, there chop this. If we get to level five, we're happy. Then we don't care because then we don't do anything. <laughs> Uh, and we're in the middle of a nasty storm, which we'll probably have gotten level 5 by now here on the day 3 or something, but uh, yeah, that's not really uh, how things panned out in this thing. And this is such a such a punishing single player game. Uh, I just got a resource. Alright, we're gonna chop a few trees here just to get the last bit. There we go, level up. Oh yeah, alright, we are not afraid of anything anymore. Uh, now let's... Let's go back to our uh, base. That isn't the base at all. Oh, just got here. Just safely underwater. What a miserable location. And we're getting storm exposure. Um, that also hurts, I guess. It's just miserable all the way around here. Um, yeah, this is this is spiral game. Yeah, eat, eat, eat. Oh, this one broke. Press to track. Yeah. Okay. So that broke from the storm. This one is surprise, surprise, not really working. Can't really keep that up. Uh, we're taking a little bit of damage, but it should get better now. This is also an overflow back because this also got broken. Um, and now we need to take all of this and make it into invisible. That's cool. Shit. That's dead wolf. That helps. to ride out this storm and once we're done with that we should be uh, we should just get back to building and stuff not back to building but actually building okay we're low no hit points and there's nothing much i can do about it there's uh i don't think we can do anything about this like except for is that another one i hear it i feel i hear it oh it's me taking damage oh my god i'm dying again from the storm exposure. Are you kidding me? Oh, really? It's just raining. Ah, oh, this is horrible. All right, well, we, we can at least start building now. All right, so now we have a little bit of an issue. It's nighttime. We have a Komodo, too close for comfort. And it is, uh, I have my levels, so I can build what I want, but I can't sleep until tomorrow because I need some kind of shelter. And getting shelter right now is just a little bit too much work for us, I think. Um, though I, maybe we can. Let me see. No, that's kind of full. I am so worried about that Komodo. Uh, let's take one of these out there. And can I take the second one? Yes. So maybe we can just make like the smallest of little thing here that we can build. And uh, let's go over to the crafting. And uh, we need a bedroll. And we need... Oh, we can't do that. I am so worried about that. Um, yeah, so let's go in here and tick. Now we have seven points and we're at level five. So that's uh, our option. We can get a bone knife. That's really nice because if we get extra yield from skinning, that's nice. Um, a spear might be nice. Bone arrows are amazing. Much better. Like, a little bit much better, but we'll take it. Anyway, we're, we need to go building thing. And that means we need a wood beam, we need wood floor, we need wood walls, and we need wood ramps. And then we need this part as well, and we probably need a door. And then I don't have any more points left. Oops. Um, but at least we got bone arrows. Then we can also go like wood breakdown. That's okay. And this one. 
and no more available over by the solar tree we have uh, zero available really okay uh yeah so if i want to rest until tomorrow then we are gonna get let's uh, make a few of these one two three four there we go and then we're gonna make one two three four of these queue up that up and we are gonna make hmm i don't know two of these then i also need six there and did we get how many did i get of this two there i don't know oh i have no idea what i got anyway we got some of these and we got some of this and we got some of this and then we need we didn't get any roof tiles did we no let's get the roof tiles here and then we need four of these and we can't get that why not another one of these and four queue up that one and yeah all right cool let's just build uh, the smallest of small things turn on the light and that's gonna be here we'll get something nicer in just a second that one uh, okay hmm. and then why delete? If you delete it yourself, you get the money back. And if you don't delete it, then that and yeah. Okay, so that is working. Let's get these, this, and this. So now we can. Oh, we're overweight. Uh, let's see. Let's get the flooring here. Come on, that one and that one and come on. And get some some walls here. Let's get some walls with. We we'll press R to get some windows. Window, 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 and, and this one will be a door. Yeah, like that. And then we need to get in here. Let's make. <laughs> this is the smallest possible house we can make. I just want to survive the night. And I don't know if you really need this. We'll do it anyway. And then switch over to the other side. Yeah, and, yeah. and then we can hopefully make a bed. Get the bed. And the door. Deploy. Like that. And press to enter. E set spawn point. Great. So now we are actually going to come back to this. And then it's five. Close the door. We don't have to close the windows. We have a door. We can sleep through the night. <sighs> there we go. It's morning. It's not much. Yay, our house. <laughs> uh, we're definitely going to make it bigger. And I think I want to make it sort of up here. Um, or maybe a little bit further down there. Because this is kind of a center point. Uh, but this very very modest house is uh, what we're going to do just now. This also means that we now have a place to respawn. We get some cooked bacon that gives us some uh, XP. Uh, it doesn't last very long though, then, unfortunately. And what do we need to do now? Well, honestly, now is uh, pretty much the time when we just want to just want to get some more experience and uh, build up, and then we get to yeah. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's level up and uh, build a little bit nicer house. This is the most modest and irrelevant house that we can come up with. Let's see if we, what else we can do. All right, here we are. We have uh, leveled up a bit, <laughs> and uh, we are have a little house. This is a much nicer little house. Basically, what I have here is just building, building up. Uh, we can go inside, get a little bit of this, <coughs> and oh, that's typical, right? We get some weather incoming. Uh, we're just gonna go out and get some more water while we're at it and maybe just hold drink and fill containers there we go actually managed to not get any parasites lovely and we have a storm incoming so this during the storm let's uh, build something let's build something so what we want to do and i've uh, prepared it in advance we go in here turn on the light i think we need another light we have our bed over here and we can we also have an extra door here this is just to cross the bridge uh, we were sort of looking at this place up before but we moved uh, further down here i might want to move back up there again uh, what i'd like to do is i want to get out into a location uh, 
Alright, let's actually do that. Uh, what time is it? Update? Uh, it doesn't matter. Let's, uh, let's do that during the night. I think that's good. Let's, um, let's see. What do we have? Um, do we have enough arrows? Uh, let's get a little bit more bone to get some more arrows. Uh, that's going to be... Oh, oops. Here. Let's get a little bit more bone. And those arrows will be here. We now need to go for... That's a little bit much in terms of arrows. Uh, that's a little bit too much, I guess. Let's do that. And there. All right. I think we're ready to go out. And what we want to do out here is uh, we want to get... Find a cave. I think there's a cave here and there's a cave there. So let's uh, go over there and find one of these caves before it gets overwhelming with, uh, with the rain and then get hiding inside the cave. I think we found a cave here. All right. Here's a cave. Uh, no shelter, storm exposure. Uh, we are almost certainly getting some kind of uh, junk. Look at that. We know there are worms in here. Can I crap? Oh, no. Worms? Oh, that's good. Oh, that's a dead worm. Let's move forward until we see the next one pop up. Oh, man, there's so much iron here. We definitely need that. Definitely. There you are. There you go. Alright. Moving forward. Next one. Next one. Come on. There's got to be more. What is this? this uh, we don't know what that is. That is... Aluminium. We can definitely not take that. Here. We can also drink. That should be fine, drinking in caves. All right, look at all this magnificent amount of uh, goodies. What is this? This is a platinum. That's not a little bit out of, out of reach copper we can get, but we don't have a little bit of iron. So the iron is what we want. So chop chop. And we're going to be suffering from, well, we're cold. Why are we cold in here? Hmm. Oh, um, chop chop. We are going to chop all of this so we get a lot of iron and a lot of copper and basically whatever we can get out here. It also gives a lot of XP. Like that. Level 11 already. Cool. Now, what I'd like to do is actually make a little a, a box in here. Uh, that would require some wood. So that means we need to go up, chop a little one wood, and then come back to this location. Come on. Here. Get this in. Activate. Get this in. Sweet. Consume, consume, consume. And... Then we also make a little box here. We already made a box that is available like that. This box will be, whoops. This will be where we store all the stuff we find in here uh, until we bring it back. Because I might not be able to bring it back immediately. So I'm gonna just throw this stuff on the ground. Good. And then we can keep uh, going in here and uh, mining. Of course, we need to get some stone for the mining. That's why I picked up a little bit of stone as well. So we can repair and repair and these ones also repair. Good. And then we can... Oh, stamina replete, depleted. Cool. So let's mine some more iron. That gives us a pretty good uh, amount of uh, resources here. And uh, we can also just... Well, I mean, I wish I could say while we're doing this, but um, we need iron. Iron is super important. We need a lot of it. And just get this level one. There we go. Got the whole thing then let's have a look at what we've uh, what we've unlocked so far we have unlocked Oops, stone pile was already oh right a sickle is one of the things that we've unlocked we've unlocked bones spears uh, we haven't unlocked and uh, not unlocked the bone spear but a bone sickle was pretty nice uh, then we have over here as we talk about all the different elements that we need windows as well and uh, nothing more than that as well we can uh, go over to tier two then we can do a crafting bench anvil Oxidizer, oxygen bladder, water skin, rain receiver, might want to get that, stone furnace, fireplace, cooking station, and a short range radio. So we want to make as many of these as possible. Now we can get even, even more things like skinning bench might be a thing, mortar and pestle. Uh, there's also potential for getting armor here, leather armor, or fur coat armor, or guile chest armor. Hmm. Well, that's a little bit later. Uh, also, when we get up to 15, we can do carpentry and masonry. Masonry is level 15 as well. So that's like the next big milestone that we want here. But there's tons and tons of things that we want, like wood cupboards. And uh, let's take a little bit of uh, 
copper nails. Okay, that's not so expensive. We definitely want that in our base. But I think we want more of the, the stuff like iron pickaxe and iron axe, that kind of thing, as we come back to, uh, to our build. But we need more iron in order for us to uh, even dream of building any of those things. Also, let's get the copper that we have. We can mine copper and iron with a stone axe or pickaxe. So let's do that. We're finally making it back in the middle of the night and we are overburdened obviously and uh, we have a lot of goodies here so let's build drop all of our iron ore all of our copper ore and a little bit of the coal ore that we have available uh, i have prepared these things so that we can build them in advance so let's uh, build that here let's have a look in here we are going to build a crafting bench which allows us to build a lot of other things there we go we have a crafting bench this allows us to build some of the other things that we want to to make so that's uh that's really neat things and uh, then we also have the stone furnace that we want to build i'm just going to build it here it's not like a great place to build it but it'll get better uh we need some wood there and we need all of the iron i guess there that's all the iron we can get get it in here so we can start producing iron ingots there and activate good now we're making iron ingots that is perfect and what else did we have we also have down here we have an oxalite diffuser thing that is a better way to make oxygen it just requires some of that and some of that some oxalite and then some sulfur as burn thing and then uh, we need to build in here and let's see i have one of these i'll put the other one that's full in and the one that's empty, I put it in, and you can see it will then gradually fill up. And that is a super efficient way of uh, keeping it much better than this blob here. But we'll keep it as a as a backup. Now, once we have a few of these that we can uh, start working on, the last thing we want to build in uh, today, well, is that. That should be over here. That's the short wave radio. So that means 15 and some rope and some wood. There, 16, we have that. Uh, let's go in here. We can now make the short wave radio. Get stuff in here. We'll keep this in and we'll also keep that in here. We got it. Get it into our inventory. And then where do we want it? I guess the only place we can kind of build it right now, we are going to need to have a bigger house. But ta -da, we have a short wave radio. Now we can do missions. That is brilliant. So I am going to wrap this one up here. We have a iron building. We have a short wave radio so we can do missions. We have a little house, modest house, and uh, now we can really start making it bigger and awesome because we, we have a place where we can lock the door and feel safe here. So that will be the next episode is like large build thing, but I wanted to sort of blitz onwards to level 10 immediately so that we could uh, get this part. If you want to see more, then be sure to come on over to Twitch. I'm streaming this. If you're watching it immediately, then it is today. Uh, I'm streaming it sometimes a week so check my discord for schedule or twitch over on the schedule as well um, and if you want to just keep up here on youtube then i'll do these kind of uh, summary episodes as well that will try to keep up with what's going on on the live streams thank you very much for watching if you want to see more be sure to hit the like button that helps a lot with this kind of series and um, until next time take care and as always stay effective